What's up? Bottle Rob Shakti here for another episode of Mosh React, the series where I listen to something for the first time and I see if it makes me want to mosh. Zulu. Zulu. Zulu! That's what's up. I'm sitting with the new Zulu record uh, that's coming out. Um, it came out, on, well, it came out already on Flat Spot Records. They're doing a combination of their seven inches that they put out, My People Hold On. Um, so they're, they're um, putting that together. Um, along with um, Our Day Will Come. So it was two seven inches put together. It's been a while since I've sat with it, so I'm going to be reacting to the music video. They did a music video for this. Afropunk had been sharing it. Now I have some, some of my own personal beliefs about Afropunk. Uh, I'm a little bit seasoned where I remember when Afropunk first started. It was really, really about punk rock and hardcore. Then Afropunk got fucking weird. And just started doing everything black, which is cool, but I was like, man, it lost that punk, it lost that hardcore edge. But showcasing Zulu's video is kind of like a return to form for those folks over there, if there are any black people running that anymore. Woo! Anyways, uh, so let's talk about Zulu. So Zulu is a very, very special band from Los Angeles, California. Bunch of black folks, straight up. It's an all black group. Um, there might be some queer individuals in the band as well, so that's fucking amazing and beautiful. Um, for someone like me, a band like Zulu is very important. You know, since I've been going to shows since the 90s, you know, I was always the only black person at a show for the most part. In the state of Texas, it was usually me and my mosh mentor, Noble. Um, it was usually us two, maybe a couple of sprinkles of some other people, you know. Um, but for the most part, we're always like, oh, I guess we're the minorities, right? Um, so as time has gone on, I'm seeing more and more African Americans, more and more black people just getting involved in hardcore and taking what the fuck is theirs. I mean, because we all know the first hardcore band is Bad Brains, right? So hardcore music was made by fucking black people. Punk rock was made by fucking black people, like bands like Death, right, in Detroit. So, I mean, it's like, this is our shit. And I love to see bands owning it, going against the stereotypes, going against what people fucking think. Oh, you're black. You're supposed to listen to this. You're only supposed to do that. It's like, yo, black people can do all kinds of shit. It's not mutually exclusive. We can be more than one thing, right? Anywho, so I'm checking out this track. It is called Straight From The Tribe Of The Moon. So I'm going to peep this music video. It, man, already looking at this. I see this nigga wearing a tsunami shirt. I mean, I just see just black people, dude, with like long locks, a beautiful sister. Like, it's just, it's just already just already beautiful. It has my attention. So let's see what this is about. This is Zulu. Oh, hell yeah. Dude in the fucking car. Hell. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that fucking hard shit, boy. Damn! This video is nothing but black people. I'm hyped the fuck up! Oh, shit! Yo, so this, this song is like a minute and three, uh, 11 seconds. Really great, uh, amazing. So many beautiful black people. It just brings me with so much, so much joy. Yo, if you haven't heard of Zulu, check them out. If you haven't heard of Buggin', check them out. It's got a sister singing. If you haven't heard of the band called Move, check them out. Another brother singing. <laughs> Fucking black power, motherfuckers. Yo, until next time, this has been Montreal. See ya.